I'll, I'll start it off. Um, all right, this will be the first episode of The Good, The Bad and the Ugly. And the topic we're going to be discussing today is whether the moon landing was real or fake. So, so of course, this whole moon landing was done by NASA. And uh, there are a couple of moon landings, not just one. I think about, uh, yeah, there were a couple of it. Lah. I don't know how many exactly. Uh, and Neil Armstrong was the first guy to step on the moon. Lah. Yeah, so, and here's my take on it, whether the moon landing is real or not. I'm a bit sus. Lah, in a, in a, <laughs> I'm a bit like, maybe it did happen or it did not happen at all. Yeah, so that's my take on it. 50-50. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys why I think it happened and why I think it didn't happen. So I'm going to give you both sides of the story. All right, so that's my take on it. Okay, here's why I say it happened. Because, uh, I mean, it was fucking telecasted in TV. Lah. The whole, it was like broadcasted everywhere. People get to watch it. And... Uh, the, uh, the Americans put a flag on it. And uh, there's a lot of other evidence. You know, if you look up in YouTube, you see a lot of footages of it happening. So that's, uh, that I'll say, yeah, it happened. Now for the other part is why I'm saying it didn't happen because we did not, we did not go back to the moon ever since then till today. We, we have not uh, gone back the moon at all yeah and that is really suspicious like why not why not go again because we have better technology and here's a fun fact the phone that we are using right now all our handphones right the technology in our phone is better than what they used back then to get to the moon yeah literally all the software that, that the nasa was using in the space shuttle is nothing compared to the phones we use right now. So with all this being said, why haven't we gone back to the moon? Because we didn't even go back. We didn't even go there in the first place like, to even go back again. Yeah. So that's my, that's my. Okay. You know, you want to say hello. Hey, you yeah, guys there yeah. opening statements? Okay. So I think for me, I think, I guess mine will be the ugly uh, opinion. Right? <laughs> the ugly opinion being people don't give a shit. Whether it mm. happened or not, right? People just don't care. I, yeah, so what? At least it, for Singaporeans, I think. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah so, I, I think that's the problem. Sinkies yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because it, it has nothing to do with Singapore. It's like, oh, America business. So, Sinkies, I feel like Singaporeans live in this small fucking bubble. Yeah. Uh, they don't give a fuck about what happens outside. They're just in this bubble, which is, I'm, I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I feel like it's fucking naive. Like. It makes you very naive to, to the outside world. And, and the problem with that is you feel like you know everything. You get what I mean? And, and, and you don't come out from your comfort zone. Like. I, mean, I mean, you are right, like, you need, because Singaporeans don't give a fuck. As long as it's outside, them you know it's like outside their comfort zone they don't give a fuck la. yeah you're right sorry to interrupt man. no no yeah yeah so uh, I, but it's, you ask whether it's a good thing or a bad thing or I think uh, I mean depending on whose perspective right? no did it happen or not so if you did ask it me happen did it happen or not, or not? Uh, I think it happened uh, but again, that's, right. yeah, that's, that's my, my thing. Uh, just to answer your question just now, right? So, we haven't, so one of your main points you said that, you know, we haven't been to the moon since uh, the first one or since whenever, mm -hmm. despite having better tech, right? So, I think one mm -hmm. main argument would be that there is no reason for us to go back because there's nothing much on the moon in the first place, right? So, right, right. Uh, yeah, so why, why on earth should we go back to the moon? There's nothing there, right? Uh, mm -hmm. because going to going to the uh, to the moon will cost uh, be costly, right? Right. So spend yeah, money so to, to go to the moon to, to, to achieve nothing practically. Uh, but again, the counter argument to that I could imagine is 
uh, hey, with better technology, we could, you know, make new discoveries, you know, that, that we were not able to discover with the technology that we had uh, back in the 60s, I guess. Yeah. 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 So, but in any case, yeah, I, I think it still happened. Yeah. Yeah, but again, the ugly opinion will be people just don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, uh, why is that? I, I think because it's uh, as, as, as Singaporeans, I think we, we are very practical people. Right? Not so much about, okay, this is American, we don't really care. It doesn't concern us. But it doesn't concern us not because it's American, it doesn't concern us because it doesn't impact our lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's why I, uh, I feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's it from me. True, true. Yeah, um, I think a big reason of why we want to start this podcast is also to get more Singaporeans interested in all these kind of issues uh, because we can definitely, all three of us can agree that Singaporeans really don't give a fuck about anything, whether it's politics or yeah. conspiracy theories. No, I, I, I feel like Singapore give a fuck about politics. I mean, uh, not, uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, like, uh, yeah, true, true, because I don't give a fuck about politics. Yeah. <laughs> I would say the general crowd really don't really give a shit. I mean, like if you go to um, a random person on the street and you ask them who their MP is, right? I'm telling you, basically yeah. no one's going to give you an accurate answer. Maybe like 5 yeah. 10 who really cares. But um, anyways, so is my opening statement for you. Um, to think that the moon landing was fake, to me, is insane. The beginning yeah. of the space wars was basically a dick measuring competition between the US and the USSR to see right. who could get to the moon first. So there right. were uh, accredited researchers, scientists, astronauts, engineers, mechanics studying rocket science over decades to prove the different theories on like gravity, the atmosphere on the moon, rocket trajectory, which amounted to over hundreds of billions of uh, dollars spent. <laughs> So to think that all the science and mathematical equation must have been fake will include you having to prove these calculations wrong. Oh. So I would be really interested in seeing how anyone would like debunk, for example, Kalman's linear slash non-linear theory of how uh-huh. it got the space shuttle to the moon. Um, NASA and other international space agencies all around the world, in the UK, in Europe, were also involved in this space mission and they all admit that the U.S. managed it successfully and were the first ones on the moon, including their, their, their rivals, uh, USSR at the time. Surely, if their top competitor admits reluctantly that they lost the space war, that it would mean something. It would have meant that all the thousands of people in the world, multiple governments and officials colluding together to pull off this biggest hoax for an unknown reason, which would have had to have crazy amounts of international cooperation regarding millions of people in so many different countries working together, which to me sounds implausible. I mean, like, look at climate change. The UN has their own climate change conference and all that, but we can't even solve climate change at all, let alone this global conspiracy. If we look at our own government, Sengkang is so fucking dirty. It's literally becoming a long Kang right now. They also can't fix that, but suddenly we should believe that the global governments of the world are working damn efficiently together to protect the US interests for what and for why. Mm-hmm. So without further elaboration, I think it's quite clear my position is that the moon landing is indeed real. And to be honest, it sounds crazier and takes a lot more effort to fake this moon landing rather than just going to the moon. Um, I guess uh, my uh, uh, rebuttal uh, uh, to your first two points would be that... Um, in I think wait same same yeah, I yeah. gotta hold you up for a second man. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, are you are, are you reading this from a, like a teleprompter or something no like I basically <laughs> looked up um some of these on my own time and just I guess going off off script I guess right 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 okay man go on go on um so the excuse me the the first um point you made about like if we really went to the moon in 1969 why haven't we gone back right. Yeah. Um, I think Uni has, has touched um, quite a bit on that as well and I, I, I partly agree that there is no purpose to go back and especially there's a lot of money to spend. Um, but I would say also um, that all our space mi- missions didn't end with going to the moon. Like we are still exploring right. space. 
just that now our main major focus is colonizing Mars. And I'm sure you've seen like right. we've had like robots go on there. there. There's actually footage of Mars right now. You can go on NASA website, stuff like that. La. So right. it, it's it's more of like, I guess we change our priorities. Like we've already been to the moon. We've, we've already seen what's there. We don't really need to, to go back there anymore. And if if you feel that, oh, we already have this technology, why not go back there? I mean, then you you technically you could, if you have the money, la, you could go and see the moon from afar. Uh, I think Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk is, is having this thing called SpaceX and Blue Origin. Basically, if you got a lot of money, right, you just pay either Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk and then they'll bring you to space. So, right, right. yeah, that's my base, my basic counterpoint. I, I, I mean, but do, you, but, but do you all think we have already seen everything in the moon? Like is it is it done? Like in terms of what though? I I, I don't know in terms of discovery or, uh, I feel like the moon is so fucking huge, and 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 to say that oh no we have already like seen everything in the moon is like oh we're done with it, is is um, it's quite a it's quite a statement uh, you know. Right. You I, get what I mean. You hmm. get what I mean. Hmm. I mean yeah we are going to Mars and everything. But uh, as of now, we are not sending humans to Mars yet. We're just sending, uh, you know, props, robots, stuff, you know, rovers and things like that to, to just, you know, to be on Mars. Yeah. But for Moon, we've already sent humans there. So it's possible mm-hmm. for humans to be there. You get what I mean? Okay. So why not send humans there to colonize it? Why Mars? Why skip the moon in the first place? Where I I know for sure I can send humans there, and 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 it's fucking close to Earth, like, like, right. I don't know what's the distance, like. It's, it's, it it'll be more reasonable to colonize the moon than Mars. I don't think they would you agree know with you on that because Mars is much more um ha- habitable for humans. There's water on Mars, for example. Right, and, right, okay. Yeah, I don't know if if the moon has the same sort of facilities or capabilities that you will be able to colonize such like as Mars. Like, I think if you follow some stuff that Elon Musk has been researching about, right, and his plan to mm-hmm. colonize Mars, yeah. you will find actually Mars is a, a, is a much more better environment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I'm still suspicious about this fucking moon. <laughs> Okay, like like what? Is it is it the flag? Okay. Because I know there's been like conspiracy theories about the flag when they when they landed there and like if there is no when, wind or whatever, how did the flag move on the moon or some shit like that? No, that, that one got debunked. Yeah. That one got debunked by one guy who uh he put this uh flag, like a mini flag into this uh vacuum container and he sucked out all the air, right? And and the flag was still moving without any any air, in, air without any form of air inside the container. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. how that theory got debunked. Like, like the flag theory was debunked. Okay, one of the theories that I came across was uh, you know how the footprint on, on the moon from the soles of the their spacesuit, it's actually different from what they were wearing. Yeah. So that means the footprint, the original f- footprint of their space suit, right, is different from the footprint that they have on the moon. And here's their back. Here's what they said. Um, they had to change. They had to wear like a like a like a like a like a socks over it. You get what I mean? To step on the moon. So that's why they got a different footprint on the moon. Yeah. So that's their reasoning behind it, like. Which once again I'm I'm doubting it. Do you get what I mean? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So so the, so so you were saying that the so for you the, the footprint will be the one of the more uh significant uh I guess uh yeah. Every, yeah. yeah, to show that it didn't yeah. happen. I think the most, the most, the most significant one is why the fuck we didn't go back. <laughs> like, why are we not there yet, again? You know. 
but yeah, the, the, the footprint plays a part of Zola. All right, all right. And, and also they have like, you know, there was a live broadcast of this, fuck, of this moon landing, right? Yeah. So everyone was watching it at home. Um, and and yes, here's, here's my another theory to it. They had they had like a mock up um, center where they had space shuttle like like the surface of it was like as if they had to like like a studio, you know, and the studio looks like like as if it's like, like the moon landing. You know what I mean? The surface is like the moon. Um, there was like a space shuttle. Surrounding is like fucking. It it sim it simulates the space. You get what I mean? It's like a simulation. Yeah. It's like a it's like a studio. Wait, right? hold up, Don. So uh, yeah, I was just looking up what yeah. you said about the about the shooting, right? So apparently, yeah. um, what it was. It's called the Luna Overshoe, where you wear it over the boots. It, it, it's not a, right. uh, a socks or whatever, but basically, if you look at the image, right, it has the threaded marks, which look different from the shoe. I think that's why. I'm trying to paste the image. Obviously, it's going to be hard for everyone to, to go and see it mm-hmm. if they're listening to it. But if the listeners want to Google um, Luna Overshoe, they would be able to see how it looks like. What's this for? Oh, okay. so so this is so this is one over the shoe. Yeah, over their boots or whatever. Yeah. To what? To create gravity. I'm not sure if it's a gravity, gravity uh, thing or is it to add friction? Friction, yeah. Because there's the huge shredding though, and weight. Hmm. And debug. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, the studio theory, right? Mm. So there were a couple of films that showed this studio. One of it being James Bond, like the super old James Bond. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's before Sean Connery. I don't know what's the guy's name. Uh, yeah, I really can't make up the guy's name. So anyway, um, uh, so this James Bond guy. He will be trying to catch someone or or he's running away from someone, you know. So he'll run he'll run into this one of these studios with this space shuttle, and there'll be two like uh two astronauts in their spacesuit and all they'll be like simulating as if they are walking on the moon. And he will he will just run past them. And then uh, he'll get out from the facility. Like. Yeah. So so there is a studio. Um which does this. So here's my other theory to it, to add on to it. What if the entire thing that everyone saw on TV was just shot in the studio itself? You get what I mean? And, 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 and another thing to add on to this is mm-hmm. how people were saying there were no stars in the sky. Mm-hmm. Like if you look at the footage of the whole moon landing shit while they were there, or the pictures they took, there was no stars at all. Okay. Um. So okay. what if? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so what if they they shot? What if they shot this whole thing in the studio itself? I mean, people would know what. You know what I mean? It's 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 shot back in like uh. Um. Can you mind if I kind here? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um. About the stars one, right? Yeah, I heard that before, and I. Um, so apparently what what that whole star thing is is basically about exposure, underexposure, overexposure. Um mm-hmm. it's because there's like this atmosphere that's then in, in on the moon, right? They right, right. are saying that it distorts that, that image. And then um the I think the biggest um statement or the biggest fact that can actually debunk um, that that theory is that actually we landed in the daytime, so there wouldn't be ah. stars, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. So that's that's just this. Um, but what, why would why would why would why would why would daytime and nighttime make a difference in space, though? 
You know what I mean? Because there is no because the the moon doesn't emit any light. It's just a reflector. Right. right. So you mean I need to? Hmm. But doesn't the stars like give off their own light? Yeah, it does. But then again, right? You have to have to have to like the best kind of type of cameras to actually pick it up. If not, it's gonna be super unexposed. Maybe now we have mm. that technology, but back then, it's a big question mark. Plus, it's daytime, right, right. so I'm not sure how exactly that will look like from space. Mm. And back to the studio one, right? You said like, how would someone know? I guess it, right. it's the same like how how would Singapore know that we were being invaded by the Japanese in the World War One, for example, um, when they came came through their planes, right? We have all those right. like, air map that kind of detects whether the aircraft carriers are flying into our airspace, kind of thing. It's the same right. way that other countries can track whether the US is sending their space shuttle up there. So I guess that's that proof lah that they actually sent something up there, and it's not just they went to the like studio. a like a, like a radar. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but but uh, uh, an ordinary person won't know. It. If I'm sitting down at home watching this thing, yeah, right, mm-hmm. I will be thinking, oh yeah, they really went to the moon. Yes. But if it's shot in a studio, mm. um, they could make it as realistic as they can. I mean, look at the movies we watch now. Uh, isn't it so realistic that you think that shit is happening? Like it doesn't even feel like it's been. Uh, like if you watch a horror movie, for instance, right? Mm-hmm. You get scared, even though you know it's fucking fake. You get scared because it's real to you. For that, I don't know. For that duration, that that movie becomes real. So, do you get where I'm coming at? Um, I would say yeah. We wouldn't know ourselves per se, right? But I'm pretty sure, like all the international space. Uh, agencies would know like the USSR at that time who was fighting with them they were definitely keeping track score because they, they also yeah. wanted to win this space war right so yeah, if yeah. they had faked it they would probably would be the first one to come and call them out on this like a hey, US you're, right. you're faking this moon landing you know we, we, we didn't pick up any data or we didn't pick up any aircraft carriers that uh, left earth you know in, in, our, in our satellite right we didn't manage right, to pick right, up anything right. so is is then back to like the whole world covering for US again, which is I mean unless you have any evidence of that, it's, it's quite far fetched for me to take you at your word lah. Yeah, I mean there no there will never be a fucking clear evidence lah because if there is, uh, it's gonna put the world in a state of shock lah. You get what I mean? Mm. Like it's it, a part of our history is just like, I don't know, just vanished like that. So, so there, there will never be an evidence because, yeah, it, it, it's just like that. Lah. That's why I feel like they're not going to do it in recent times because in recent times, people are not as gullible as they were in, what, 1960s? Yeah. Now, if you say they are going to the moon, people are going to be watching out for everything. They, they could spot... I mean, they're just smart. Lah. They could spot things or, you know... Is that whose mom is that? <laughs> no. Yeah, so I think one of the reasons would be if let's say if let's say uh, there was this huge uh collaboration, uh huge uh cons- conspiracy between the international governments to just to cover up for the Americans, right? Uh right. why it's not happening now, like you said, I guess it's uh it'd be more challenging to uh to achieve that. Uh, conspiracy or to, to achieve that kind but, of uh, operation. But but uh, but you guys don't think that top people in the world, top politicians in the world, don't cover up things for each other. I think yeah, they what, do. What, I'm sure they do. For but sure. like, it's possible. But, uh, cover up a space landing is next level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's next level, lah. But. But you have to understand they always cover up things for only one purpose. But what what's the agenda for them covering up? They just don't want the masses to, to know. Lah. They don't want that's, the that's what? The, that's the, the whole masses, people, human beings. What so would that affect? All these billions of dollars just to trick us. 
I don't know. What's the, what's, what's, the, what's the thing that they get stand to gain from tricking us? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so why why would any why would there be the 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 moon landing? All right, all right. Okay, okay. Here's my theory. All right. What if these guys were flying to the moon, right? If they landed there, but they saw something that they should not have seen. You get what I mean? Like maybe they saw civilizations, aliens. I don't know lah. Like, something that that really. That they know they can't fucking tell this back to people. They know I'm not, I'm not, we can't reveal this to to the world, to Americans or whatever. So maybe they would have relayed the message back to, to NASA. NASA would be like, all right, let's activate the studio. Since it's a live broadcast, activate the studio. And then they start like doing the whole, you know, walking on the moon, putting the flag shit. And then those guys in the moon are like packing, packing up and coming back. You get what I mean? Okay. And if you say there's something there that humans aren't supposed to see, right? why are there uh, agencies that are letting uh, civilians go up to the moon now? Uh, maybe they're only going to a part where, you know, it's, it's like a... Like only a selected area, you get what I mean? Like there's a there's like a you get what I mean by restricted areas. You can't go there. You can't. You mean see, you're you gonna you're gonna risk all that for a penny? Yeah. Like you Why not? you spend billions of dollars to cover that up, and then now you are okay with risking all of that just for a bit of money from like the elite. Well, think about it. We are risking everything to cover up another civilization. Do you think it's worth it? Millions of dollars. We are hiding another civilization for billions of dollars. I think it's worth it, man. Okay, wait, Don. So now you actually believe the, the moon landing was real, but it's just that we didn't go no. there because there's aliens there or something, is it? it that's just a theory. La. Like, one, 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 one is we didn't even go there at all. All right? It was shot in the studio. One is we went there. But... Um, they went there, but but they just can't report back whatever they saw, or they can't really take real footages of the place, lah. Then why hasn't so, there been any whistleblowers after like thirty years? Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know, lah. I I that's that's one thing that really puzzles me, lah. Why isn't there any whistleblowers? Um. Yeah, I can't answer you on that. I can't answer you on that. And like, and and. and uh, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. you might want to look this up. Yeah. I think one of the actual footages of them landing on the moon or the moon landing is actually missing. Yeah. So if you just Google like uh, moon landing footage missing, I, I think some, some, some stuff will come up. Okay. But I mean, if they had footage that they landed on the moon, it doesn't matter if like five seconds of it is missing or five minutes or whatever, right? It's still there. Yeah, but... Still, to- right? Yeah, correct. But to 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 you're losing not a normal footage though. You get what I mean? It's like a it's a it's like a it's a monumental thing in human history. To lose. I mean, losing a footage doesn't necessarily mean they they lost the particular tape or something. It could have been a technological error that happened with old videography cameras. Right, fair with, enough. With active waves and shit from, from the moon and like from in space right. might like affect the footage and shit like that, right? So, right. like I don't think it's gone missing but there's possibility that it's just corrupted in some sense. Right. Right. I, I, I get that. But there's also possibility that it's missing. It's like a cover-up. <laughs> mm. It's like a you get what I mean? It 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 goes both ways, like, like what your your point makes sense, you know, radioactive or I don't know some space shit, man. But it's also possible for elites or whatever you want to call them to cover up shit because hey, we do, we don't want to cause mass panic or you know we we just don't want the masses to know. 
So yeah, I'm saying we went to the moon and we didn't go to the moon. 50-50. All right. Okay, I so think, here's the I thing. I think you got to pick one, Don. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, okay. Since yeah, I have to fair, pick one, I, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say we didn't go to the moon. Right. In okay, 1970s, so lah. Yeah. Not now, right? You don't actually believe no, that. Of course. Now, yeah. Now we are going to the moon. Okay. But we're not landing on the moon, right? Are we landing on the moon right now? No, we are. Are we? We are not even uh, landing on unless, the moon now. Unless you believe that the whole rover thing in Mars is also fake, I don't think you can say that uh, us landing on the moon is fake also. Like right now, no. I mean. Sending rovers, uh, inanimate I mean, objects, I mean, that's fine. Can... That's, that's really happening. Hmm. But for a human being to be there, walking, taking photos, I'll say no to that. Inanimate objects is very so, easy. You just so whatever drop it there. Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk set up is fake. Lah. If you no, have a million no, no. dollars I, to spend right now and you want to sign up for their program, they are just going to send you to somewhere else. Mm, well, so far, no one has signed up yet. Lah. I mean, because so, it's not uh, ready, right? Yeah, so let's just wait for it. Lah. If it really happens, people are stepping on the moon, not just sitting in the space shuttle flying over the moon. Yeah. Right? So, because so I feel like you have a problem with American governments or governments in general not being able to tell the truth because mm-hmm. of, uh, I don't know, past... Um, past agendas or something like that. But what? Why? Why would you believe? Mm-hmm. Um, like a normal human going on the moon, like a normal civilian who spent a million dollars and just to go up there and see see space and stuff like that. Right. Right. Like you won't. You won't believe a government that said it went to the moon. Then, then your agenda isn't actually us as humans landing on the moon but just governments you just don't believe them at all uh, no, uh, here's the thing I, I don't believe in the landing on the moon humans mm-hmm. being on the moon like right? Right, like right now in 2021 you don't believe that can happen well I do it should happen in fact yeah it should be happening so, so your argument but, is in 1970s that didn't happen at the start right right Right, right. In fact, if it happens right now, I'll be more than happy. Uh, like, whoa. But the thing is, it's not happening. Lah, because the points Simp and Unir gave us, there's no point, a lot of money, which is reasonable. Lah, but I'm not going to argue with that. Lah. It's a reasonable point. But um, it still can be done. Lah. Money, not a problem. Yeah, that's uh, why we're spending the money to go to Mars though. Yeah, but that's Elon Musk project. No, no, no. Like, there's a Mars rover on Mars right now. Okay. Is that, does that belong to Elon Musk? SpaceX? No. Or NASA? NASA. There's NASA. Right, right. Okay. So, right I now, think, they're just... I focused. think at the end of the day, right, like, it boils down to objectives, right? Like, what do you stand to gain out of this? What do you stand to gain out of that, right? I think right, right. when they, I think in in the past, right, be it like recent 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, whatever, whenever humans actually landed on the moon. But I I think we all here agree that humans can land on the moon. But the, the point is, what do they stand to gain gain out of it? If they go there and it's all just rocks and dust, mm-hmm. and it's not gonna advance our human technology, what's the point of going there again? Right, you know? right. But if Make, we don't go to Mars. <laughs> and we go to Mars and we figure out something that can help with our technological advancements then it makes sense for them to spend X amount of money to just go there and research right right, right correct well humans in, in nature are inquisitive creatures you know curious people mm. right and and do you think we have explored the whole of the moon like fully or just a part of it I think Right now, like, I don't think you can even say we have explored the, the entirety of Earth. Right, right. Fair enough. So, mm. so like, 
I and we are still trying point, to like, explore. Maybe, uh, yeah, exactly. So I agree that maybe we can't um exactly explore the entirety of the moon, but I do believe that you have enough technology as of today to use science and all the other technologies to help you explore the rest of the moon without actually exploring the rest of the moon. You know. Mm, yeah, there's like right. satellite imaging of the whole moon. So even though we haven't stepped foot and like basically lick, touch, grab, hold every single right. surface, cubic meter of the moon, you can basically see what's on there. And there's honestly nothing of interest, uh, TBH. Mm-hmm. But I, I always feel, right, the moon could have, uh, could be a useful place for um earth's garbage like um I'm, I'm not joking right like just to like just to dump all our trash there like um materials on earth that are actually harmful you know like harmful to us uh harmful for it to be on earth to be uh disposed of you know nuclear waste that kind of thing yeah as it is stuff uh. Even in yeah. Singapore, our uh, Pulau Semakau, the landfill is like <laughs> super filled up already. So yeah. if we can go to the moon to put that right, and at the same yeah. time take some selfies for dawn, yo, we should do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it will save everything. <laughs> Climate change, right? Okay, all right. So I think we so we just to uh, sort of recap, I guess, what we, we talked about just now. For 20 30 minutes for the moon landing, yep, and we call it a closure for this episode, yeah, for sure, yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah, so uh, we'll be talking about moon landing, you know, why, why it may, why, uh, the, the, what Don was saying, Don, right, Don was saying that you know, it didn't happen, or at least the, the moon, the, the landing that was televised, that didn't happen, uh, and that. You know, uh, so for whatever reason, uh, why why it didn't happen, uh, but then of course, then the, the other question that we were throwing, uh, you know, why would why wouldn't why would any why would the whole you know world you know conspire with uh, American government you know to come out to to stage the whole landing right? What's the objective behind all that right? So I think even until now, I think this this on this conspiracy theory has been going on. Uh, even since since back then, right? So the first moon landing was uh, successful. Moon landing was in 1969, and then subsequently it was in the 70s, uh, early 70s, and then it stopped there, right? Mm-hmm. So again, because uh, the main argument is because there's no re- point in going back there, but there's nothing there mm-hmm. in the first place, right? Uh, so but I I, I think these conspiracy theories, whether it happened or not, this is a question that people are just going to talk about, continue to talk about, right? Uh, for whatever reason, I think. Uh, one of our, one of us did say that there's this general distrust towards the the government or at least the American government in the first place. So that general distrust sort of uh makes us think that you know the, the landing didn't happen in the first place, or at least the televised one. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but I, I think I also want to ask, you know, again the the ugly question: Should we care? Right? Why should we care? So I think uh, Picasso, uh, so he, probably Picasso was alive and, and the uh, moon landing happened, uh, the first moon landing happened and uh, I think the, uh, the newspaper sort of interviewed him and asked his opinion about it and he said no, he didn't care. Uh, I didn't care what, you know, whether it happened or not. I have no opinion of it. And uh, I think like, like what we, we pointed out earlier on, uh, earlier, you know, Singaporeans, we generally, we, we don't care. Right? Because, yeah, so what if it happened? So what if it didn't happen? Right? So what if, if there was this huge conspiracy? Yeah. So what, man? Yeah, lie to us. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah. I'm just going to live my life. going to drink my bubble tea and whatnot. I'm just going to enjoy life. <laughs> so I think, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. So that's the ugly side of it. The, the bad. Which one is the bad? Which one is the, the good? That I leave it up. I guess the audience can uh, decide for themselves. Oh, I'm the bad man. I'm the bad. <laughs> All right, Batman. <laughs> okay, anyone has any other last words? Anyone has any other last words? Uh, no, I, I got, I got, I got, 
got nothing to say. I no. Uh, I just. I I guess the closing statement for me is just that. Um, then again, if it's a conspiracy, then why didn't Russia just like you know say foul play and then, um, challenge the US on their landing claims and all that, and also if there there happens to be aliens or whatever on 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 moon, that's why we had to cover up and like protect the Earth or, or lie to the masses or whatever. It is 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 like a huge, huge um. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's just a weird conspiracy theory to to me because the possibility of like all these centuries that we had on Earth from like ten thousand years ago with no alien contact, and then suddenly the day we set to shuttle our spaceship into onto the moon, then suddenly we found aliens or like there's cause for concern in space, and then okay, we got to make a cover. I don't know. It just happens to be very convenient that that day happens to be the day that oh shit. So, uh, it's no go, fam. No go. You just lie to everybody. Yeah. I, like for me, I I can't really change my mind on that, lah. So that's just my take. Pa? Yeah. What's Closing that? statement on the on the moon landing. Uh. I believe, uh, <laughs> I believe everything until like someone speaks out about it. Uh. So far, I don't think anyone of, of significance has spoken up about it except craft theories. Until evidence has, is like proven to me that um, none of it did happen. Be it, like, did, did they land first? Did they did land in that particular year? I really don't care, but as as of now, I don't believe like that isn't like that there, there wasn't a space landing to the moon in twenty twenty one. Like, yeah. So so you think it's crazier to to fake it now than than it is to yeah. actually just go to the moon? Huh? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Wrap this up, so though. That- yeah, go for it. Um, well, the, my closing statements are uh, we did not go to the moon. It's, uh, it's been faked since I have to choose I'll choose this part, dub the pet. Um, why cover up? Because um, there's a lot of reasons to cover up. Because why would you want the masses to freak out or, or get to know all these kind of things? And um, yeah, we've lived a, like a million centuries and there's no alien contact at all. Why would you know aliens suddenly pop up when we step into the moon? Um, because I feel like we are stepping out of our territory, you know? So, so that maybe that, that, that's why they're like coming into the picture. And um, why they want to cover up once again? Um, they just don't want us to know, la. fucking slave. La. <laughs> so yeah, that's my closing statement. Man. All right, thank you, everyone. I guess so. Our very first episode today. <laughs>